Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. A huge case came out of the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania regarding stop and frisk. Uh, now I'm going to tell you what happened in this case. I'll give you links to the decisions and the case brief itself. I wanted to let you know that this case, uh, Firearms Policy Coalition was very involved in this and uh, how this might play out and why this is a big decision. So stick by and check this out. So this decision came down May 31st, 2019, not sure when you're watching this, uh, but what basically what happened, the case was Pennsylvania versus Hicks, and it's a case that started back in 2017. At stake, and the long and the short of it is, as a concealed carrier, uh, does the government, police, do they have the right to go and pat you down because you have a gun? Um, it's unreasonable search and seizure. See, here in the Commonwealth or the People's Republic of Massachusetts, we have this law on the books already. Just because you have a gun, it's not illegal because it's very possible to legally own a gun. Yes, here in Massachusetts, haha, jokes uh, aside. But you cannot be forced by the government to prove your innocence. In fact, you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, as we all know it's supposed to be the case. So this case came down and reaffirming just that, that it is illegal to stop and frisk somebody based on the report that they have a weapon because it could very easily be legal. Now, this does not change or this does not affect what is known as a Terry stop. Uh, the big landmark Supreme Court case called Terry versus Ohio is of a different set of circumstances. And excuse me as a huge helicopter goes overhead, that's what happens when you do this stuff. But in the Terry case, what happened it was a a police officer was watching a storefront, a guy was casing, going back and forth, looking inside, uh, went and talked to a couple different people, they started casing, uh, he believed that they were going to rob the place, stopped, patted them down for weapon, you know, found weapons, uh, and you can, in that case, came down to say that if you believe criminal activity is afoot, based off a of reasonable suspicion, in this case, they were casing the joint to rob it, you can stop and, and uh, ensure your safety when you're talking to them with three bad guys to one uh, good guy. That's a different case. So don't go thinking uh, you know, now that the, you can never be stopped and patted down because that's not the case. But this is specific for firearms. If you have a gun on you, uh, now in Pennsylvania, not in every state right now, uh, if you have a firearm, just the mere report of it does not entitle the government to go pat you down. Will it still happen? I'm, I'm willing to bet... 90% of the time, it'll probably still happen. Is it right? No. Now, Firearms Owners Against Crime were, were also uh, deeply involved in this case, and I'll have a link to their uh, organization as well if you would like to uh, donate, say thank you, etc. I'll also have a link to Firearms Policy Coalition, uh, and you know what to do. These cases cost a lot of money, and I always say support those who support you. Uh, every little bit helps. Every little bit counts. Uh, so if you can, you know, throw them a cup of coffee and... Uh, they just keep fighting for our rights, so we the people should keep uh, helping to sustain that agency, that coalition. Now I'll read you a couple of quotes real quick and then let you get on with your day. Uh, but uh, the coalition's brief said, quote, as protected by the Second and Fourth Amendments to the United States Constitution and the Pennsylvania Constitution, the mere open or concealed carry of a firearm cannot establish reasonable articulable suspicion of criminal conduct in the absence of additional indicia of unlawful activity, which means you can legally carry a gun. So if you're standing on the corner, open carry, in an open carry state, it's not illegal. But if you're standing on the corner, open or concealed carrying, uh, trying to break into a car, that's a different set of circumstances, much like the Terry, Terry versus Ohio case, the Terry stop. Another good uh, quote in this case is that the court, in dismissing the Commonwealth's position, declared that to permit investigative detention solely to determine whether someone is properly licensed is ultimately untenable because it would allow a manifestly unacceptable range of ordinary activity to, by itself, justify Terry stops. What they're saying is, like I just uh, gave you as an example, you stand on the corner, open carrying, where open carry is allowed if it's your state, uh, you're not breaking the law, the police can't go pat you down and make you prove that you are innocent or a concealed carry permit holder, etc. You're not doing anything wrong because that is a permitted uh, activity. It's legal. So I hope you understand what I'm saying, that there, this is two different areas. The Terry stops still exist, uh, but if you're just standing there with a gun or concealed carry, open carry, whatever, they just can't come 
make you prove that you uh, a have a permit or b are a legal gun owner. Uh, you have to have something else. There has to be um, more meat on that bone for them to for the government to get involved. You know, like you have to be committing a crime or uh, in a high crime a in area with a bunch of uh, hoodlums or hanging around with some liberals who are anti-gun. If you have a gun, they're anti-gun. Something's wrong. But uh, I just want to get that out to you. It's a big case for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, it is a step in the right direction. A lot of the, some states have it, not a lot of it already in their state constitutions. It is technically in the federal constitution. It's called uh, the Fourth Amendment, unreasonable search and seizure. So everybody should be following this anyway. I don't know why we have to have each state uh, try it and, and make a rule, but this is the America we live in nowadays. I hope you appreciate this news. If you could, please pass it along, because if you're thinking about it, others are too. And the only way we get stronger as a group is to all be on the same page. And to do that, you can help by forwarding this news. Till we see each other again, please be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Take care.